In the NFL, it's not rare for college rivals to be teammates. On the Saints alone, you have Alabama and Auburn, Miami and Florida State. But these Saints rarely were on the same field for those rivalries. And it's even more rare that the rivals actually went against each other. But that's the case for New Orleans rookies Kenny Stills of Oklahoma and Kenny Vaccaro of Texas, who, who tangled in the Red River rivalry. I don't think Kenny knows it, but he's my sophomore year. His freshman year, my sophomore year, was the first touchdown that ever got scored on me. And he did it on like a, it was my first time I went into the slot. I was in the slot at nickel. Landry threw a perfect pass. Kenny kind of like tipped one hand, so I don't think he even knows this. He doesn't know if you know. You, he, the first touchdown he gave up was to you. And then that was uh, the first touchdown I scored, so I uh, <laughs> guess it was a big moment for both of us. <laughs> now the two have put away the burnt orange and crimson and cream in favor of the black and gold. So how are these old rivals coexisting? That's pretty much been the same. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird because Kenny will we'll talk to each other after practice and he's like, have you been out there getting reps? I'm like, have you been out there getting reps? So it just hasn't really worked to where we've been against each other yet. So uh, whenever I get a chance to see him out there, I always talk a little bit of trash. But Kenny and I are cool, and uh, it's, it's fun having you know, a rival uh, on your team just to go over there and talk trash to you every once in a while. I mean, we would talk trash, but at the same time, you respect great, uh, good players. So, I mean, we're there, I mean, there'd be trash talking back and forth as soon as the game's over, exchange numbers, talk on Twitter, meet up, chill. But uh, I think it's funny, it's a big coincidence that now we're on the same team, we're actually close friends. So Stills and Vaccaro are rookie Saints teammates who have put Austin and Norman in their rearview mirrors. And for 51 weeks a year, they'll be great teammates. But come mid-October, they once again will be fierce rivals. It's going to be pretty quiet for me. There's not much to be said for us. Our program always handles themselves. I think it's three or four in a row now. So I'll just let the team go out there and, and do the talking. And, and if we lose, then, I'm, then I'll keep my mouth, shut, my mouth shut even more. When the Red River rivalry comes around this year, what is going to go on between the two of you? Um, I mean, there's going to be some trash talking, but we got Texas, we got to redeem ourselves. We got beat down for the last two years, and uh, um, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back up there. How much does that hurt, losing that rivalry game? That's got to be the, the, the worst loss in, in your career, losing twice? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. It's got to be definitely up there with the worst. It's a big rivalry game, but, um, I mean, yeah, the tides will turn. Don't worry. Roll Tide versus War Eagle. Hook 'em Horns versus Boomer Sooner. They are rivalries that will last forever. But the animosity has cooled for these Saints teammates, but it's sure to be back in the fall, at least for a little while. In Metairie, Paul Boron for CST.